What is Grand Solar Minimum? Grand Solar Minimum occur when several solar cycles exhibit lesser than average activity for decades or centuries. Solar cycles still occur during these Grand Solar Minimum periods but are at a higher intensity than usual. The Grand Minimum for a special mode of the solar dynamo operation. So, let's jump into the video to see the sun has gone into a period of lockdown which could cause freezing weather, earthquakes and famine. Before we begin, we publish good content videos every day. If you're not subscribed to the channel, just tap the subscribe button below and don't forget to like this video never or I will hypnotize you. The sun has been reported to have a very deep solar minimum with 100 days of 2020 not seeing any sunspots on its surface. Astronomer Dr. Tony Phillips said, Solar minimum is underway and it's a deep one. A sunspot is an area of magnetic activity on the surface of the sun, also known as storms, and appear in areas of darkness. They play a huge part in the sun's activity, including birthing solar flares and coronal mass ejections. The sun's magnetic field has become weak, allowing extra cosmic rays into the solar system. A solar minimum occurs when zero sunspots are spotted. But before you start panicking and thinking this is a bad thing, solar minimums are all part of the sun cycle and occur every 11 years or so. NASA first recorded no activity on the sun last summer and it is thought to have continued to be without sunspots ever since. Solar minimums usually consist of 12 months of little sunspots activity. While the sunspots and the solar flash, they give off become more calm. As NASA described it, it doesn't affect the sun's brightness. NASA scientists fear it could be a repeat of the Dalton Minimum, which happened between 1790 and 1830, leading to periods of brutal cold, crop loss, famine and powerful volcanic eruptions. Temperatures fall by up to 2 Celsius over 20 years, devastating the world's food production. On April 10, 1815, the second largest volcanic eruption in 2000 years happened at Mount Tambora in Indonesia, killing at least 71,000 people. It also led to the so-called year without a summer in 1816, also nicknamed 1800 and froze to death when there was snow in July. The idea of solar minimums affecting life on Earth is ongoing debate with some scientists believing it can affect the weather and earthquakes while others argue it has simple little impact on our planet. Some scientists have linked previous solar minimums to dramatic drops in Earth's temperature, including causing what was known as the Little Ice Age in the 1600s. Some even fear it may happen again. Valentina Zarkova, a professor of mathematics at Northumbria University, said in a statement, Solar activity will fall by 60% during the 2030s to conditions lost seen during the mini ice age that began in 1645. Meanwhile, Georg Fjolner, the deputy chair of the Earth System Analysis Research Domain at the Potsdam Institute on Climate Change Research said, the expected decrease in global temperature would be 0.1 degrees Celsius at most compared to about 1.3 degrees Celsius since pre-industrial times by the year 2030. In the 2011 research paper Influence of Solar Cycles on Earthquakes produced by M. Tavares, they linked the solar cycle to earthquakes that there were fewer of them during solar minimum. This happens due to the sun's magnetic field weakening during solar minimum, which can cause an increased threat to astronauts traveling through space. Meanwhile, humans on Earth are still protected by the Earth's magnetic fields that shield us from the rays. So, I think you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to click the like button below this video and subscribe to the channel.